Okay, so for this question here, we're going to be looking at our percentage change question based on the 2023 PSLE paper, question 14. Now, Colin had a collection of badges, postcards, and magnets, and he had 85 badges, 30% of his collection was postcards, and he has 51 fewer postcards than magnets. So in this case, we're going to be determining the number of postcards that Colin has. It's currently only giving a percentage, but it's a percentage of the total. So let us first compare between our badges, postcards, and magnets. Now, in part A, let's list them down. We have our badges, postcards, and magnets, where postcards takes up 30% of the total. Okay, if we compare our magnets to postcards, we have 51 fewer postcards than magnets. If we want to find magnets, we can just add 51 instead. So 30% of total, but we plus a 51. Now, in order to actually find out the number of badges, we need to go and take note. The total amongst all three of these items here is supposed to represent all the items, 100% of the total. So how do we find out the number for the badges? Badges itself would be 100% minus weight of postcards and magnets, giving us 40% for the percentage part. But remember again, because we're balancing out to reach 100%, we need to factor in this 51. To balance out this plus 51, we need to minus 51. So 40% of total equals to 51 plus the 85 that was given for the badges. So then we can compare our number of badges, allowing us to determine 40% of total to be 136. Now, our key goal in this case is to then determine the number of postcards. And postcards we have figured out to be 30% of total. How do we get 30% here? We can first divide your 40% into a simpler number, then multiply back to 30%. Some of you will be thinking, why not we just multiply to, uh, divide to 1%? Now, it's not always necessary. We can actually do it to a simpler number. We can use 10% because it's a nice number to divide. 136 divided by 4, we get 34, which means that for the 30% of the total times 3. And actually, we get our final answer here to be 102. Now, let's do the second part. The second part is then asking us to go and say that Colin gave away postcards. His total collection decreased by 20%. Originally, it was 100%, but now it has dropped to 80%. So we can first find what is 80%, which is his new total. We can write here, total, new, representing 80%. And we can find what's 80% of the total for 80% of the total, representing 8 times 34. Because again, remember, 10% is already given to be 34, which we'll get 272. We also then need to go and determine the decrease in the postcards. Now, one thing that didn't change here was actually the number of badges and magnets. So badges and magnets, if we add up the two numbers, 40%, 30%, 70%, minus 51, plus 51, they cancel each other out. This means that badges plus magnets gives us 70% of total, which means it's 7 times 34, or in this case here, it's going to give us 238. So we can already determine the postcards in the end. The postcards in the end would be 272 minus 238, giving us the value of 34. Some of you all may also notice 80% of the total minus 70% of the total gives us 10%. 10% here already giving us 34. If you want to use the alternative method, I'm pretty sure the PSRE teachers, when they are marking here, they will be happy about it too. Aside from that, now we need to go and figure out the final part because they're asking you what percentage of his collection was postcards after that. The postcards at the end as compared to the total at the end as well. So our percentage at the end, percentage of the postcards, would be 34, but out of the new total amount of 272, we multiply by 100%, we get our final percentage value at 12.5%. And this is our final answer for our percentage.